Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to take a look at responsive layouts and responsive content and kind of the difference between each. Now, in this PSD, what we have here are two layouts. One is our default layout and what this encompasses is the PSD size. So right here, we're using a thousand pixels and we also have another target screen for 320. So if we take a look at the 320 design, you'll see that it's slightly different than our default desktop design. Now, uh, let's actually take a look at responsive layouts first. Because of the design and how it is, what happens is that when you change your screen size or basically target a mobile screen, uh, this is what this layout will kind of fix to, what happens is that we're basically changing the layout so the layout itself will respond to the size of the screen. So you can see here, this is a basically how a 320 size would look when it's rendered on a mobile device. Now, unlike other auto generators, which will actually change your layout for you, which is kind of amusing, uh, what Export Kit does is it allows true responsive layout. So you're not restricted to your layout content. For instance, if we wanted to take the text and shift it slightly down, down, then basically take the button, let's say move it up. You can do whatever you want with Export Kit. You are not limited to any layouts that are auto generated. So you can basically change the layout to encompass any style you want. So if we wanted to change the size of this image, and let's say we want to put the button beside it. So let's actually just take this. we can basically do anything that we want to do. So again, Export Kit does not limit your creativity. It's completely up to you how you want your responsive layout to look. And this is all based on what you draw in your actual PSD. So what we've done here is we've actually changed our responsive layout to give us a different design when rendered on desktop and basically when rendered on mobile. Now, Export Kit you can basically go even further than this. What you can do is you can completely change the rendering of the styles of the elements on your responsive designs also. So for instance, here we have our background. Let's say we wanted our background to have a slight gradient. Uh, let's actually give that an effect. Ah, sure, let's go with this. And let's say we wanted our text to be, or let's give it a drop shadow actually. And let's make it a different color. So now you can see what we've done is we've basically given it a different layout style for our mobile versus our desktop layout. So let's go even further again. Uh, let's give this an effect. Let's change the color overlay of this. Let's make it slightly blue. Okay, so here you can see we have two completely different designs now, both utilizing a responsive layout. So we've changed the layout uh, basically per our project requirements and also responsive content where we've actually changed the styles of the content in each layout. So let's take a look at these again before we export. So this is our desktop layout. And what we have here is now our mobile layout. So let's go ahead and let's save this and let's export. So what we want to do is select HTML5. Uh, let's choose responsive CSS and responsive images. And we can just go ahead and export. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's take a look at the output. Okay, so what we have here is we have our desktop layout. And we also have our mobile layout based on our actual PSD design. 